Welcome weirdos to Petra's playground. I hope you will enjoy. I am so tired. It is Easter Saturday. Yes, so it must be April 3rd, I guess. I am exhausted. I have so many plans for today as I always do when I don't have Leona. But nothing has been done. Well, yeah, I have actually put more clothes in the closets than before. And I have been for a freaking run. I haven't been for a run since before I got pregnant. So I run like 2k, 2 kilometers, which is not a, not a long way to run. But to me it was enough, so now I'm so tired and my legs are like tired. And I love the feeling of being tired from a workout. I need it, but I have a real emotional weekend this weekend. I feel just, I'm like this close to tears all the time. Yesterday, uh, Leona went to Tobias and because it was a uh, off work Friday because of Easter, um, he came here and we had fun. We were at my parents to do some barbecuing, like hot dogs and stuff because he was going to get Leona and then also we talked that it would be fun for her if we actually did something together so we were doing that and we were outside for a bit we tried to get her down for a nap she didn't want that <laughs> probably because Tobias was here and it's a new, a new thing so she just wanted to play all the time so she didn't sleep anything last uh, yesterday until he went home with her in the car so he was here he, he taught me how to make a taco pie <laughs> uh, it, I will suck on doing that myself but it was good he, he, he showed me how to do it and we did it and it was very very delicious it was actually really fun to hang out with Tobias uh, we haven't been hanging out much lately we haven't even seen each other at all because we are changing days on kinder on daycare so I leave her there and you pick her up there so we, we're not meeting anymore so it was fun but it was also very emotional of course because we had a lot to talk about and I want to cry again because it's um, it's a hard situation for both of us um, this was never what we wanted with our lives but it turned out this way and we are doing the best we can with it so we are co-parenting very well I feel like and uh, it's hard for us both when we don't have Leona of course um, and it will be longer and longer periods we don't have her. So it's hard. It's actually really hard um, for both of us. But it was good to talk a little bit. I think we needed it. We have never grieved, grieved together, um, cried together and such. And we did, and we needed it. And it was good for me and for him, I think. To talk a little bit of what happened because we are not angry at each other in any way right now it just is what it is and it's hard so i hope we'll be good friends for us and for leona and i hope we can do stuff this summer i'm, I'm very happy came yesterday so we got to talk and hang out and learn how to do food um but because of that and because of me letting my emotions come uh, I have a hard time breaking that so I am very it's a weird thing because I I, I feel that I want to cry all the time and I have a lot of anxiety but it's more like a tired anxiety and a tired cry and like I I feel bad because I feel bad but I also feel bad because Tobias feels bad so I don't like when people are sad I am rather sad myself and see other people sad. So we are both sad and we are both just trying the best we can and I think it will be good. Um, because Leona has a loving father and a loving mother and we want to be friends and I hope we always can be friends and I hope it will get easier, easier and easier with time. We are at least doing everything we can to help each other out and that is good. I haven't this wasn't meant to be talked about. <laughs> I just was just going to say that I have been out for my first run in two and a half years, like run run, very slow run though. Um, and I was going to do a lot of computer work today. I have done none. We'll see if I do any. I need to clean, because when Leona and Levi has been here, 
it's always a mess so yeah i am living i'm surviving i'm working hard to get through every day and some weekends are like this and i try to feel like it's okay like i feel sad now and it's okay just let it come I'm gonna try to do a reaction with my little bean for the first time in a very long time. She's 21 months no! old today. Yes! Already, I, I will mute our sound if you can't bite on that. Bite on that side in that case. Because we will need to listen from the speakers, but also she probably will talk or something or go to play. I don't know. Because this will be exciting. Do you know this can break? This can break. Um, but we will try <laughs> in the description box, but also the link to our second channel. Pero stay around, please follow it. She has a strong will, you guys. Um, we're gonna start this, we're gonna start this. Strongest, strongest personality in the world, strongest will in the world. She throws tantrums. All the time, <laughs> but we're gonna try to do it. I'm gonna mute. Just, she has my keyboard. Hey. Yes, she do. Look, you see. <laughs> Hi, we're gonna try to do something with a tantrum field. One, twenty-one months old. Okay. I regretted it. We will not try to do reactions. <laughs> April 16th. I haven't vlogged in a very long time. I am uh, going mental here, not because of my funny daughter, but also because of her. It's like so messy um, everywhere. I'm trying to clean every morning, every pre-dinner, every after dinner, and this is still what it looks like. So hello, welcome to me. I am freaking out. Uh, I don't have. I haven't had time to vlog, to be honest. Um, because of all this also I have not been able this is the first week that I have that I have had to take care of her not, not take care of her I take care of her or, or by myself all the time but we have not been able to visit anyone or anything we haven't been able to have someone visit us or anything so just been her and me which is fun but also she's a lot right now because everybody's in this toddler years uh, so one of our teachers had corona so we are careful so no we do not have any symptoms or corona or whatever but we are careful because my parents are getting vaccinated vaccinated dad did this week and mom next week we don't want them to catch corona from us or anything, No, nobody else either. So I go to work, she goes to her daycare. As usual, the teacher is of course not there. <laughs> and we live our lives and we do, do not seem to have caught it just yet at least. So we, we hope we won't. Uh, it was a while since she was at work. So I think we might be in the clear, but you never know, it's a tricky disease. But that is where we are not visiting anyone or no one is visiting here. But I had a fun week with her. We have had some rough nights. She's had a lot of tantrums, but I think we are, we are doing much better now in the tantrum division. I am better at keeping the total calm that she needs. I'm better at just 
talking to her and telling her what it is and if she still flips out because she does not get what she wants that's okay i always say your feelings are valid you get to feel whatever you get to be angry you get to be sad you get to scream or whatever but you never get to hit or hurt another person so when she hits or hurts me i tell her you can absolutely not do that but that she's crying and screaming is just emotions and they need to be able to have it it's no use me being angry when she has a tantrum because it won't have it won't it won't help anything so we have worked a lot in that division and i think it's better now hello can you say hello can, can you say hi can you say hi do you want to come up okay i'm gonna pick her up bye bye camera can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Can you say camera? I do bye bye. Can you say vlog? Blue. Blue. That means blue. The color blue. Can you say purple? Purple. Can you say pink? Pink. Can you say yellow? Yellow. Can you say green? Green. Can you say red? Red. That. Yes. Can you say one? That. Can you say two? Two. Can you say three? Three. Can you say four? Two. Can you say five? Five. Can you say six? Six. Can you say seven? Seven. Can you say eight? Eight. Can you say nine? Nine. Can you say ten? Eight. Yes. Good job. You down de 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 wash the spider out da na 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 and it's a bit of fire de do de 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 do say bye bye vlog uh, it's the same day uh, Leona is now daycare and her father will pick her up soon i have been at work until now then i had to go pick some litter box sand up for phoebe and some food and everything and my apartment is chaos and i don't want to clean because i'm so tired also today i got an injury at work you can't even see it in the camera it's ridiculous a little you can see like it's a line here a little bit swollen here can probably not even see the blueness of it. It's pretty blue, it's pretty swollen. It's like a heavy thing just crashed into my head and I'm so happy it's here is the impact. Uh, if it would have gone here, I probably would have died or like fainted or something because this is such a sensitive area. So even though I got hit here instead of here, I it hurt here a lot. So. I'm happy it didn't get worse. I was a little bit dizzy at the beginning and everything. And it hurts a lot, even though it looks like nothing. It's so warm here, I need to clean. And I'm gonna be alone this weekend and I feel really sad, to be honest. I feel very, very sad. But as I said this morning, I don't know how much you took of what I said or what, if anyone understands what I said. But one of Leona's teachers has had Corona or got Corona last week. She has of course not been at work since then But because she has had a teacher that had Corona I don't want to meet any family members this weekend In case that Leona brought it home to us if I don't have any symptoms until next week I'm out of the gate. I actually think that because we didn't get any symptoms. Yes, even we haven't gotten any symptoms still. I really don't think we will get any symptoms and I really don't think we have corona. But I don't want to give it to anybody else if I do have it because all people do not have symptoms having corona. So I did clean yesterday, not vacuuming or using swab, it's called, but like a wet mop, nothing on that. But it still took over two hours, maybe two and a half. So today I might clean a little bit more at least I'm gonna record some reactions but also edit I just put my makeup on try to get this glow that you can get with the Kaya products that I showed in the recent video here you can actually see some glow I tried to take some pictures where the glow didn't really show up so yeah
Something happened and it's messier than ever. I got that bed from someone who was giving it away for free, so I was like, ah, I need to get it <laughs> because beds are expensive. Uh, so now her play area is a bed area. It's not like she sleeps here, but she gets to play and everything. So now it looks like this, which is much messier than it was before. And now I just try to figure out how to make it less messy. Levi is on his way. I'm gonna babysit him a few hours. So now I'm just gonna try to figure this out. And it will look messy because this thing is so big. April 26th, it was yesterday I was babysitting Levi. It was fun, it was a lot of work. They are pretty energy eyes, these kids. And my apartment looks so messy. I've just tried to clean up the little space where she has a bed now. I don't think I'll have the bed there for very long because it's not because she can sleep there, it's just for her to play on and everything. But because of that, all the toys goes out on the floor instead, which is totally okay, but I mean it's pretty cozy. But it's more messy than it was before. I don't really know what to do with that because that's always always looks messy. Life with a toddler. And I'm constantly cleaning, which you can't see. It's a new day. I'm just gonna show you how it turned out with the bed when uh, Leona is at his father's or for 24 hours she went to him today and I'm gonna pick her up tomorrow so I actually find the time to clean so I think it turned out pretty cute actually with the bed there it's so messy in here and I'm so sad but I didn't have the energy to clean this room I've already cleaned for hours today but I think it's pretty cute with her little bed and she actually for some reason when I put this things next to each other instead of one there and one there. She has played so much more, even though she has much less space here. She has been learning how to put these together, which she hasn't been able to figure out before. She has been in all these cabinets or whatever you call them and played, but her favorite thing in the world at the moment is to play with these books. She has about, I don't know how many of these tiny. She got them from her cousin, cousins, Theodore and Gabriella. And it was, it's always in this car. So she always wants to sit in this car and throw them on the floor. So I think about 10 times a day I pick all the books up and I put them, there is a book, you see there? I put them here, I put them in that one and I put them in this drawer. Uh, I have a lot of places for them because they are everywhere. And every day about 10 times she throws them all over this floor and she throws them all over this floor and then she throws all her kitchen things on this floor. So the focus on this camera is about to go bad and I do not like it because I can Never. Before. Yes, I forgot to buy a new one. This camera is my love. Um, so yeah, it's pretty. I think it's cute. I love it. It's cozy. So I talked a lot, even though I had very little to say. <laughs> Welcome to Petrum. So this is where I am the editing of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite part. I'm sorry for the old footage. I love you very much. Let me know what what videos you would like me to do on this channel. I love you. Keep being you. Keep being amazing. Keep doing what you love. And I will see you next time. Bye.